Uh, hi, and, and please also give it up for the rest of my team. We are on our way back from the TED conference, which was last week where we launched. Uh, we developed a product in 72 hours by harnessing the power of 2,700 people uh, via our new platform. Matt Pop Rocky over here on our design team. Mike Lacey on the back. He writes stuff that I don't understand. Uh, David Hitchcock, another designer, and also the person who wrote our uh, algorithm stuff, which I also don't understand. And uh, we have Peter Wadsworth, who used to be our engineer, but now is trying to develop our business with us. Uh, eh. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Peter. I love you. Uh, and uh, also, who am I missing? Who else is here? Uh, Andre Zarango, our architect extraordinaire as well. Uh, and if I miss anyone, I'm sorry. Did I get everyone? Good. Okay. So we're again, we're on our way back from the TED conference. Um, our platform is a, a collaboration and decision making tool where uh, organizations can post projects uh, and allow their community, whether it be a public community or a private community, to work together to uh, reach that given goal. The best way to understand our platform is to speak our language, uh, the language that we may call clusterish. Uh, the first concept within the site is, is projects, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's a goal. It's developing a new product within certain guidelines. Uh, we then break down projects in, into, uh, into small manageable deliverables that we call phases. Uh, phases can, is, is where you define your audience. You can either be public and allow our entire community to work with you, or private, where you say, I just want graphic designers between the age of 17 and 34 who have an interest in skateboarding. Um, within, within phases, there's something called sparks, which are, which are ideas. Uh, they're ideas on how to reach the phases goal. Yeah. You can express yourself in any media, uh, whether it be video, audio, uh, text, images, and so on. Uh, within sparks, there's something called ants, which is all, where all the true collaboration happens. This is where you see a logo design you like in a logo design phase. And you go in and say, hey, that's a great logo. But if you radius that corner by 20 degrees and add a splash of pink in the corner, I think we're really there. Uh, within AMPS, uh, we allow people, not within AMPS, but within the site, we allow people to invest their watts. When you invest your watts, you get watts when you sign up for the site. And uh, the more work you do and the, and the more positively you participate, the more watts you earn. Watts then become the stake you have in a given idea. Watts then turn into cash. That's how you make all the money for all the work that you've done for the biggest companies um, that are out there on our site. So to give you a brief idea on how watts work and uh, kind of also breaches all the concepts I just talked about, let's watch a quick video about watt flow and how watts turn into money. Hit it, Matt Pop Rocky. That's his real last name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> watts are clusters currency. When you sign up for cluster, you get a thousand watts. But you can earn more by filling out your portfolio and seizing some opportunities, like throwing out some surveys. Watts should be invested in stars that you think have a chance to succeed. You can invest as many watts as you'd like. When a phase is over, our algorithms crunch some numbers, and they choose graduating sparks. These are the winners of the phase. Just like in real investments, if your spark does not graduate, you lose all the watts that you invested. However, should your spark graduate, you get your invested watts back, plus your stake, of the watts lost by investors of non-graduating sparks. Remember, watts are buying you a piece of that spark. So if there's a cash reward associated with that spark, that piece can turn into real hard cash. It's also important to remember that the person who posted the winning spark is guaranteed to receive a 20% equity stake in it, regardless of further investment. In a quick example, Sophie currently has 3,450 watts. Sophie's participating in the logo design phase for a company called Pulch. Pulse has asked for one graduate of the phase, and they've put up $5,000 as a reward. So far, there have been four sparks in the stake, one of which Sophie designed. Sophie's not happy with the 20% stake that she gets automatically, so she wants to invest some more watts to grow that stake. She's chosen to invest 1,200 of her 3,450 watts. She sees her stake go from 20% all the way up to 45%. Luckily for Sophie, her spark graduates. Not only does Sophie get back the 1,200 watts that she invested, but she also gets her share of the watts lost by people who invested in non-graduating sparks. In this case, there were 4,000. So while she started this phase with 3,450 watts, she's walking away with 6,450 watts. Not only does she just get watts, she gets real hard cash. She gets 45% of that $5,000 cash reward. So she's walking away with $2,250 in cash. 
Now, now, I need to save the time. I need the time. All right. So, so, 